Just last night, NVIDIA released a boatload of awesome stuff regarding the GTX 1000 series and I'm super excited to talk about it. I'm David Wolf with a mini episode of Tech Power Up News. A plethora of awesome stuff came out last night, but I think the things people will be most interested in are the GTX 1080's raw power and the incredible value of the GTX 1070. NVIDIA claims that the GTX 1080 is faster than two GTX 980s in SLI, which is just freaking nuts. Built on the much talked about Pascal architecture using the 16 nanometer FinFET process, the card's core, containing 2560 CUDA cores, comes clocked at 1607 with a boost to 1733. Though the demo card at NVIDIA's launch event ran at 2.11 GHz on air, which is incredible. And friggin' 10 GHz, 256 bit GDDR5X memory, which equates to 320 GB a second bandwidth. Mind you, this card is coming air cooled and only on one power connector, which in and of itself is quite a feat, and becomes officially available for 599 American dollars on May 27th, which is my birthday. Hey. Something interesting is NVIDIA's decision to continue development of SLI technology and ignoring DirectX 12's native multi-GPU support, I mean ignore, with their new SLI HB bridge, HB standing for high bandwidth, a bridge that takes advantage of both SLI fingers on the card which doubles the bandwidth, which obviously equates to increased performance. If the card truly runs faster than dual 980s in SLI, then this generation sounds like a big win, especially for gamers running 4K panels. Maybe in a few generations 4K gaming will be as accessible as 1080p, has been for quite a while now. I am stoked to see people building SLI setups with these cards, and even more excited now than ever for a GTX 1080 tie coming in the future. And of course, what would any lineup be without its second in command? The GTX 1070 is going to be faster than the GTX Titan X for 379 American dollars, according to Nvidia. Honestly, I think that could be the best news to come out in ages. That's a crazy value. A 1070 is based on the same silicon as the 1080, 16 nanometer GP104 with about three quarters the single precision performance at 6.5 teraflops versus the 1080's 9. While the 1080 is the fastest GPU in the world, the 1070 is naturally the second and I just can't get over the fact that a card priced at 379 could possibly be that powerful. While the card officially becomes available on June 10th, I wish everyone the best of luck getting one because at that price point I feel like you're going to have to camp Newegg to get one. Mind you, the performance claims here are by Nvidia, not myself as you always should wait until the reviews come out before you come to any conclusions. Thanks for joining me guys! That's all I'm going to talk about in this video, but more stuff happened at the event that's definitely worth checking out. And as always, you can find it on our website, techpowerup.com. And if you're a fan of gaming, check out our sister channel, Next Power Up. They got awesome game reviews and weekly gaming news. Clicky clicky!